Since World War II, the US dollar has been the world's strongest currency, but an economist warns it may soon lose its strength. While attending a Fox & Friends weekend, Breitbart economics editor John Carney warned that weak dollar appreciation could pose a serious threat to the critical US influence on world stage. Russia and China may be preparing strong money for new gold, but expert guarantees US dollar is the safe currency today. This isn't just a serious threat, I think it's inevitable. After World War II, as you said, we went through three phases. The United States was the largest economy in the world. In 1970s, global banking basically became the center of dollar. With collapse of Soviet Union together, whole world has been more or less dominated by US dollar. This is going away now. China and Russia are starting to create an alternative currency, John Carney said on Sunday. First picture out of three pictures The Economist's comments came in response to China's efforts to move away from the dollar. They started the strategic process de-dollarization of business deals during Russia's invasion Crimea. Fox and Friends Weekend a co-host Will Kane reported on Sunday that as a result, about 3% of their reserve portfolios are currently sitting in the Chinese Yuan. Gold and silver explosion expected TO reach US debt ceiling, dollar evaluated according to International Monetary Fund, over the past two decades. US dollar has lost 12% of its market share, falling from 71% to 59%. Kane later asked Carney, how viable is China's alternative? In long run, I don't think Yuan is actually a threat. It will become world's dominant currency because Chinese communist system is not clear enough. The US system is very clear. Other countries can trust our reserve currency that we are not manipulating it, Carney said on Sunday. Brazil and China hit trade agreement TO draw US dollar, so I don't think China will be the dominant currency. I think the Saudis and most oil countries will want to stay close. But I think we will have alternative blocks that we haven't had for a long time, he continued. Carney also argued that US choosing to actively reduce its trade deficit with China would benefit country's economy economically, and increase strength of dollar. We're going back to a kind of Cold War basis, where you have different economic blocks in different currencies. Look, we're trying to run a smaller trade deficit with China. States policy right now. The more we try narrow the trade deficit, the less China will naturally have, which will mean they have to switch a non-dollar based system so that will benefit us as well. It's part of our policy. It wasn't an 